Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Team Crafty. I hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can decorate your tote bag. So I'm going to use this tote bag from It's a Bitsy and I'm going to do a very beautiful decoupage technique. Yes, you can do your decoupage technique on your canvas or tote bag on fabric. So let's begin with this beautiful printed decoupage napkin. Also, we need this fabric gesso, our deco magic decoupage glue, some beautiful shades of chalk paint. According to my paper, some decor varnish, and lastly, the masking tape. So, all the material are available in Sibelsi. You can go and check their website and their store if you are available in your city. So, the first step is cover your base with the plastic so that your paper your bag is not going to transfer into any of the color and then i'm just tearing up with my beautiful lampkin on my hands because we need this uneven surface When my napkin is almost ready, I'm going to decide where exactly I'm going to place my napkin. And then I'm decided the part where that are, where my napkin is going to stuck. I'm going to cover it and give it a boundary with a masking tape. all the artwork that I'm going to do the first step is applying gesso so here we are applying the fabric gesso it will help to create your base perfectly ready for any kind of artwork gesso is completely dry I'm going to give it a nice good coat of white acrylic or chalk paint and give my base a perfect white color Decoupage, this is very important to make your base perfectly white. Otherwise, your paper color is going to merge with your base color. And if it is a white, so your true paper color will look up. And don't forget to dry each and every step from outside as well as inside of your bag. Now my base is ready, so I'm going to apply a generous amount of decoupage, deco magic glue. This is very important to understand the amount of the glue that you need to stuck your decoupage napkin. Because decoupage napkin is very thin. So if you apply more amount of glue, it will tear up. Okay. So apply a generous amount of glue and then you have to remove the back sides two layer of your decoupage napkin and we are going to use the printed one only.
to attach your decoupage napkin you have to apply it from one side and you have to press it with a very very good quality brush to give a very good stroke and your hand should be very steady so once your paper is almost dry you may feel that some jar bubbles are there don't worry let it dry for some times and then you have to press it with your fingers and a plastic sheet so that every air bubbles will go out and your paper look seamless Once your paper is dry, let it dry for at least 10 minutes and then give it a nice good coat of Decomagic Decoupage Glue. You can use any transparent glue that you have. and when it is wet so let it dry for at least 10 to 15 minutes then all okay now it's time for color so you can choose the color according to your paper color you can take any color that you have it might be acrylic color can be chalk pen too. procedure that how I am going to mix the color with the background and my paper so you have to do it according that
Now I feel that some part are still missing. So I'm cutting some part from my napkin and I'm going to attach it again. Let me know in the comment sections below that how does you like this video and tutorial part. And also don't forget to subscribe my channel if you like this kind of artwork. I especially do the videos on art and craft. And also I do some occasional and travel vlog. So keep watching my videos and don't forget to share your thoughts.
once your coloring part is done you have to give it a very good coat of a glue and also a very good coat of varnish and that is the final look your tote bag is completely ready to use you can wash it and also you can use it again and again so i hope you like this video see you on the next video till then goodbye